So, podcast 3.0, uh, point number one, how to problematize capitalism. Um, so, we are going to problematize capitalism in uh, the classic way, which is through uh, labor. Uh, so, it's the classic way, the traditional way that economists and philosophers over the centuries have approached capitalism and try to, you know, use it as a way to explore the system of capitalism and its attendant logic. So that's what we're going to do. We're not, we're going to look at capitalism via labor. We're, that means we're not going to look at capitalism via consumerism, the commodity, capital or finance, markets, uh, celebrity branding, uh, entrepreneurship, the gig economy, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, those, everything I, I just mentioned from consumerism to the gig economy, that is really how people experience and experience capitalism and articulate their, uh, experience of capitalism, uh, in 2020. So they have become the dominant discourses. Labor is still there, um, but really, I would say labor is. Even though we all still work, uh, we you know, work it plays a big part in our life. We're not identifying ourselves so much anymore through our labor, through our work, uh, in the capitalist system. We tend to, at least in my opinion, to identify more as consumers and more as, or more through the idea of commodity or capital and finance and celebrity than we do through our own labor and our own sort of uh, sense of uh, being a worker. Um, so, you know, the, the, the question is, you know, so if, if that's the case, then why, you know, why go, why use labor to problematize uh, capitalism? Well, for the first part, for the, the first reason is that uh, consumerism, commodity, capital, and celebrity, that's all going to come out uh, no matter what we talk about or how we talk about. So in my experience over the years of talking about capitalism, most people will bring that into play anyway. Uh, labor like I said, is the classical, traditional way to do, um, to explore the idea of capitalism. 